just in, pro-Clinton group was behind fake Russian dossier on Trump. On Thursday, I wrote about the State Department initiating an inquiry into Hillary Clinton and her staff to determine if classified information was improperly handled during her tenure as Secretary of State. Now, new information is starting to emerge from unverified sources that Hillary Clinton and those loyal to her in the State Department have been using their access to classified information to leak said information in an effort to damage the Trump administration with the end goal of having President Trump impeached. And though then outgoing CIA Director John Brennan back in January of this year denied being the source of the leak of the now infamous and unverified Trump dossier, it's also likely elements in the U.S. intelligence community who were off offended by President Trump have been working with Clinton allies. Former CIA Director John Brennan states, Was I a leaker of this? No, he told the Wall Street Journal. I think it's the right and indeed the responsibility of the President of the United States to challenge the conclusions of the intelligence community. It's where there are allegations made about leaking or about dishonesty or lack of integrity. That's where I think the line is crossed. In my opinion, there is something very telling about this statement Mr. Brennan made, particularly the parts about the lack of integrity and dishonesty. Why is it uh, crossing the line for the President of the United States to question the loyalty of the intelligence services and those working with him, especially when information is being leaked. Even now, the Trump administration has found and arrested one leaker, reality winner, but there are others who have yet to be caught. I understand that my position here is highly speculative, but the circumstantial evidence suggests that there may be an underground effort to harm President Trump. What is not speculation is that the Clinton-backed research firm GPS Fusion was hired to compile this Trump-Russia dossier everyone was and is now talking about again. Yesterday via Fox News, a Clinton-backed group was reportedly behind the promotion of the unverified Russian dossier that contained scurrilous allegations against President Trump, according to the New York Post. Fox News, 2017, paragraph 1, Paul Speary, who broke the story, stated the uh, uh, dossier is riddled with errors in fact and questionable sourcing. Fox News, 2017, uh, paragraph 6. And what is the reason this dossier is now relevant again? Well, Due to the inquiry into the alleged interference of former Attorney General Loretta Lynch regarding the Hillary Clinton email investigations, uh, folks want to know if GPS Fusion and Loretta Lynch had any contact or communication. Now back to Hillary Clinton and her aides still having access to classified information Hillary is not an elected official, nor is she or her aides in a position of responsibility to make national security decisions. There is no logical explanation for why she still has a clearance. For crying out loud, her private server was less secure than a Gmail account, according to former FBI Director James Comey. None of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system. But their presence is especially concerning because all of these emails were housed on unclassified personal servers, not even supported by full-time security staff like those found at departments and agencies of the U.S. government or even with a commercial service like Gmail. Well, isn't that great? Hillary Clinton, who was has a reputation for pay-to-play, dead bodies popping up everywhere she goes, and mishandling classified information, was transmitting state, state secrets on a server my kid could hack into. But the Democrats blame Russia. 
and Trump colluding together, yet it was a Clinton-backed group that colluded to compile this dossier, which, co uh, which contents are highly questionable. Here is a novel thought, maybe, just maybe Russia was presented with an opportunity because of Hillary Clinton's stupidity and narcissism using an unsecured email server. The Trump campaign didn't have to hack the DNC. Hillary Clinton and her staff created a target of opportunity and maybe Russia and others took advantage and hacked the DNC. And... It was the Democrats working with the Russians via GPS fusion and a former M-16 intelligence officer, Christopher Steele, who composed this dossier. This information was reported in the Washington Times back in April of this year. Whether loony liberals want to admit it or not, they know deep down that Hillary Clinton is behind the collusion with Russia. Hillary Clinton is the antithesis of the American dream, and she represents the deep state criminal element in our government, hell-bent on amassing power no matter the cost. Now, to, I'm going to add, and this Christopher Steele has, is nowhere to be found. He has gone into hiding because he was going to be questioned about the dossier, how he got the information and everything, and who... Uh, who it's linked to, and it all stems back to Hillary Clinton. So, he went into hiding. What does that tell you? Let us know what you think in the comments below. I can't wait till they're all behind bars. And again, thank you so much for watching.